Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. So we have, oh, second lover. And we've got the Prince of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Ten of Swords. We've got the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have spoiled brat. So I feel here, Capricorn, that's what that what's hap I can't speak. I feel Capricorn, what's happening here is um someone here started talking to a third party person. I mean, clear as diet it says it right there, second lover. I mean, someone started talking to another person. And I feel like um what we have here is possibly someone wanting to come in and apologize and work something out. And someone's like, no, I don't want to work this out. So what I'm actually feeling is two separate situations here where one person wants to reconcile and you're not interested, Capricorn, because you started talking to someone else. Now, this can be vice versa, Capricorn, okay? It could be vice versa. It could be that, you know what I'm saying, you want to work something out with somebody and, you know, that person's not interested because they're already in a relationship. With the Nine of Wands and Spoiled Brat, there's this energy of someone usually gets their way in this connection and that's not happening. Like someone is usually able to come in and apologize or get that way or get forgiven and it's not happening. We've got the World card. We have the Three of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel that with the, well, no, excuse me, we've got the Princess of Pentacles. So in this deck, there's the Prince of Pentacles and the and the Princess of Pentacles. They're both pages. It's both about messages. Um, but one is more on a feminine standpoint. One is on a more of a masculine energy Um I feel like someone here is is closing out a cycle to go work on something else. Yeah, I feel like someone here, and they're going to be honest about it. Someone, I I feel like this person that wants to come in and apologize apologize is being honest about their apology but they're also coming into awareness they're also about to find out the truth so i feel like one person here is ending a situation to go towards someone new and the person that's being left behind is about to find out the truth they want to come in they want to apologize but they're about to be told the truth that there's someone else in the picture we've got um the Prince of Cups, which again is the Page of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like that Seven of Pentacles energy is an energy of looking back at the past, um, looking at what you've invested into this connection. And I feel like what we have here is quite possibly um, a male energy that has made a lot of mistakes in the past multiple times over and over and over and over again. And this person has been able to say that they're sorry and... Um, and, you know, get forgiven, okay? And this person has become spoiled in this energy where they could just do whatever they want, but it's not happening anymore. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. We've got the Six of Wands. We've got the Lover's card. Someone has had, found victory with the third party. I feel like someone may be getting married to someone else or someone has found stability somewhere else and it has changed the dynamics here. Do you understand? Six of Wands and the Lover, someone here is making a decision that's best for them. They have found a, a victory and wish fulfillment. The Star card, Aquarian Energy, and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel here, Capricorn, that there's an energy of... Um, There's an energy of choosing. Um, so I don't know if this is you, Capricorn, or your person, though. But there's an energy of, I'm just happier with this other person. 
Do you see what I'm saying? There's an energy of I'm just happier over here and I don't want to go back. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go back to um to something else. I just don't want to. Um Meanwhile, this person is starting to realize, you know, I was too selfish and it was all about what I wanted and I gave very little to this person. So you've got, there's an ex here or someone that's being left behind technically coming to this awakening of how messed up they were in this connection. And we've got the person that's been hurt this entire time moving on to something better. So we have the Six of Swords. And we have the two of swords. Yeah, someone here is just, you know, making that decision to leave toxicity behind, move forward towards something that makes them happy. We've got the ten of cups. And we have the two of wands. Someone's choosing love. Someone's choosing love. They're choosing a place where they feel at home. They feel safe. They feel stable. Do you understand? And they're leaving this other situation behind. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the three of wands. Someone here is protecting their future. Someone here has a vision. Um, they see that, you know, their ship has come in and they're going to guard it and protect it for dear life. So I, I, I don't know if that's you Capricorn or your person, but someone has ha found happiness. And if you try to take that happiness from them, this person is going to lash out. Okay. They're going to lash out. Second lover and the page of swords, page of pentacles and the two of pentacles. Someone's about to find out that there's another person in the picture. Uh, Ten of swords and the justice card, Libra energy. Someone is paying their karma. Um, page of cups and the queen of pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone here is coming in um, saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'll commit, I'll do this, I'll do that. It's too late. It's too late. Nine of wands and the ace of wands, spoiled brat and the page of pentacles. This person is used to just coming in with this little apology and and, you know, everything starts over again and they get what they want. But that's not happening this time. We've got the world card and the eight of pentacles, the three of pentacles and the ten of swords. We have someone here that is truly done. Divorce over. Don't call me anymore. We are done. I have found something new that I want to work on, something that's more solid. We have um, the page of pentacles with the magician, the ace of swords and the nine of pentacles. I feel like Someone here is trying to come in and use their manipulation tactics. It's not working. Someone is starting to see the truth of the situation that the, the other person has completely disconnected. The, the mind games are not going to work anymore. Page of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Again, Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So Capricorn, you see someone is realizing their mistake. They're realizing how in and out they were, that they made promises that they didn't keep, how maybe like nasty they were when they spoke to this person someone is realizing all of the things that they've done wrong you know and that they're facing their karma now four of wands and the two of swords the death card and the strength card leo energy someone no longer wants to be married or in a relationship here they are serious about cutting this off they are not playing six of wands with the hierophant taurus energy the lovers on top of the lovers you got the lovers here twice gemini energy uh Someone here has found stability elsewhere. They have found a connection where there's more tradition, loyalty, uh, maybe the same religion. Someone's more spiritual, possibly. Um, it's just they click better with this person. Do you understand what I'm saying? They've got more in common with this person. The star card and the knight of wands, Leo Sagittarius energy, the six of pentacles and the ten of cups. I feel like this ex, this past person wanted to just, you know, give love very sparingly and be free. So they wanted a relationship. They wanted commitment. They wanted all of these things. Meanwhile, this person wanted to never pay attention to their partner, give love, very minimal love, um, you know, be free, act single, do whatever they want to do. And they never expected this to end. They, they just would just come in and manipulate this person. And this person would forgive over and over and over again. So I don't know if you're the manipulator, Capricorn, or if you're the one being manipulated, but that's the energy here, okay? So we've got the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Someone can't take it anymore. Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and they're standing their ground. Someone here is like, no, we are really, like, I am really done. Ten of Cups and the Moon, Cancer, Piscean Energy, Two of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone here has a choice to make between this ex, this past person, and this Ten of Cups, and their intuition is telling them to to go with the Ten of Cups. 
Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Do you see what I'm saying, Capricorn? Someone's blessing has come in. Someone's ship has come in. Someone's prayer has been answered and they will sacrifice anything to not lose this answered prayer. Do you understand? So someone here is ghosting a person, someone here is leaving something behind to go pursue what makes them happy. Okay, someone has a really beautiful relationship coming in and they don't want to hear it. So there's no reconciliation happening here. There's new love here. We've got, see, new beginnings, Capricorn. We've got your higher self and the consciousness of lack. I feel like you're leaving something behind. You are ghosting something or someone's ghosting you. I don't know. But someone is literally leaving something behind, operating from their higher self, moving towards a new beginning. And I feel like um, you're moving towards a relationship where everything that was lacking in your previous relationship is going to be there. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to get all that love, affection, loyalty, uh, commitment. You're going to get it in this new connection. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages. So we've got the thinking woman. We've got community. Yes, see, someone's thinking about the third party, fourth chakra. Someone can't stop thinking about a third party. Someone has fallen in love with a third party. Okay, now I don't even think that this is a third party situation because I feel like this connection has already ended. I feel like a connection has already ended. And when you met this new person, um, whoever met this new person, you were in a period of separation. So technically you're single right? It's not, you know, for some of you, it could be a third party where you were still with your person. But I feel like for many of you, um, you were in separation from your person and you met someone new, but some, someone here can't stop thinking about a date that they went on, or they can't stop thinking about how gorgeous someone is or how, you know, someone's just falling in love. Someone's falling in love. And you know, when you've been mistreated for so long, when you've been mistreated for so long, and then you meet that person that just fulfills all those needs, it's like magic, you know? Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. We've got children, your love life is being affected by children. And keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Under your deck, release your ex. So Capricorn, someone here is starting to realize that their feelings are really real for someone new. I feel like this is a new connection. Okay. Um, now you may have children with this past person and that's what's kept you going with this person possibly, but you're starting to keep an open mind. You're starting to realize that maybe your soulmate is someone different than this person that has been abusing you. And the wheel of fortune is a divinely guided soulmate. And so is the hierophant. So you have something amazing coming in. Okay. All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.